what this video is about along with the title i'm going to show you what i got what george got and what katie got from our recent trip to disneyland paris so obviously i've got mine here with me and i've got something right there that i'll show you at the end so keep watching believe it or not i've still kept everything in this bag you get this bag for free which is quite fun and i believe there's different variations i have a bigger one that is a blue version of this this is like a greeny one but i think they're quite handy and they're good quality bags so first up we have the pins that i've bought i actually bought i bought three pins of the trip as you can see my pin board here it's got quite a lot of room on it so i needed some more this is a up one but this is so cute it has all the little balloon details they all like move individually which is fun but i thought that was really nice and i haven't got an up one and you don't really find a lot of up ones other than like the grape soda this is a mini mouse it's a small world i thought that was so cute so fun it's quite a big pin <laughs> as you can see i've got a lot of room so yeah very cute i thought it was nice we went on it's a small world and we had a really nice interaction with minnie getting this pin would be a nice one i was trying to find like a halloween one that i liked but i didn't i didn't like any of the ones and next i got winnie the pooh because I love him and I do already have Winnie the Pooh but he's with Piglet so I think I can get away with it so they had a few of these characters with balloons which was really nice not a Tigger one though I wanted to get a Tigger one to commemorate that meet and greet I did also nearly buy the Halloween like Tara Tara Chippendale but I've already got a Chippendale pin on there that is autumn so it kind of works out nicely i bought this classic disneyland paris top there was only a green and i'm gonna say white version of this available there wasn't actually that many i got this from world of disney um and these three pins are from the first shop just as you walk into the studios so you go into the studios and that's where they were all from. But yeah, this is from World of Disney. They didn't have many left and they didn't, I, they only had this colour and white, I think. And I didn't want a white one I wanted. I did want a red one. I like this colour. I got it in a medium and they are very long. It's very creased because I've tried it on. I got one of the commemorative coins if it's gonna focus so it's got mickey and the castle and on the other side <laughs> me hiding it just has like made in france and then 2024 i have one of these already um so i thought it was on i think i was waiting for the girls to come from the toilet after the fireworks and when i was like oh i'm gonna use some change in my purse and i'm gonna get one these are kind of the things that i kind of wish i got one every time i went and then collected them all like in a jar because that that's something that i like <laughs> doing very sentimental maybe we'll have to find some somewhere to get the other years there was a new thing that was happening in disney village and I don't know if I'm a fan of it or not, but here, here's, here's the thing. So basically they had photographers roaming and basically all three of us just have amazing outfits. So that's why it happened. But um, we thought just why not? Let's get a photo. They, she was really nice. Um, they weren't pushy. You can say no to them, but we're all very nice 
so we couldn't but we got a photo there was lots to choose from this was 20 euros but we split it be between three of us so it wasn't actually too bad oh sorry um this was the one that we chose there was a lot more you can make them black and white and we chose like a halloween theme just notice my gremlin hand there like what's going on <laughs> but um yeah there was this is cute it's a physical photo so we all played rock paper scissors who was going to keep it as the girls were like as long as i have a photo of it it's fine um so i said i'll just pop it in my scrapbook at least it's a nice memory to have a look on we just dressed so nicely that they asked us twice in two days um and they usually ask you as you're coming back towards um like the lake rather than towards the parks that's in my experience anyway a little bit of story time i've got some videos from the vlog so there was this purchase that i wanted to make it was quite a big purchase and i was umming and ahhing i've been umming and ahhing for months now because i knew oh this could be the time to get it it's come out quite recently and it was one of those purchases where because it was like a Disneyland Paris exclusive I didn't know if I was going to get it or not um it was kind of like we'll see if it's there so it basically became a running joke where my friends would ask me every day what's the update on the said item and I'd be like mm, I don't know unsure worrying how to get it home because it's quite big and lo and behold on the last day I was like right I'm gonna let fate decide I'm gonna get it on the last day if it's not there it's not there if it's there I'm gonna buy it so lo and behold here it is <laughs> not gonna lie bringing this home was terrifying it's so expensive and they're limited edition and it's quite fragile but we made it we made it and she is beautiful such a good purchase like look at her she's so good she's so nice how nice is she so yeah i bought the clock the disneyland paris clock that everyone's been going crazy for because honestly if you can get your hands on it and can get it while you're there it's so worth it it's beautiful i will show you how i've displayed mine and it was an investment purchase for me it's definitely one that I can take to my next home and I envisioned it on a fireplace and it was just very nice. I'm very happy about it and it's, it works. <laughs> so I'll show you the reason why I moved you along. It's because it's there. I'll give you a close-up of it. So here is the close-up of my clock we did struggle to find a dome for it so i will leave the link to the dome in the description because my god this was the third dome we'd been through so pretty so much detail is involved it's exactly the same as the one on top of the disneyland hotel obviously it's just so pretty it's very worth the buy if you're thinking about purchasing it and are unsure and want to know how to display it I've just popped it on this little dome and it fits really nicely in with the rest of my shelves <laughs> I was thinking about adding like a background to it maybe but I'm unsure of that I think I might play around with the idea of a background but um yeah that's that's that so yeah that's everything i bought now i'm going to show you everything george and katie bought i will just show what me and katie bought on the first day literally 
wasn't even in the parks for like five minutes and we'd already spent 30 euros but she bought a really nice mickey bracelet and you'll see on the picture it's really sparkly all the mickeys are very re reflective i also i haven't got it on today but in that photo that is my magic necklace i wore it in my disneyland paris box so i'll leave the link to them up here for you so you can go see that on the first day i generally slept and kept that necklace on for like the whole time we were there so definitely worth it katie also bought this glass it's aerial themed it was eight euros and it's so pretty and i'm very proud of her for getting it home safe i would have been scared <laughs> but it's so nice so yeah and then george i will show you what she got so the first thing she got was this jack skeleton lamp i don't know whether it is a halloween specific match so if it is i'm sorry but if not it was from the frontier land shop just opposite um where you look at your photos for big thunder mountain and then she got a big feet groot which is so cute and a big feet rocket because she had to get both as she should and then she got this really nice get your groot on t-shirt just a theme going on but very good very nice i love our different styles and happy shopping that's everything we got from disneyland paris i am actually going again in january so stay tuned for that don't forget if you want to watch my disneyland paris vlogs from halloween the links will be in the description or visit my channel for more disney vlogs bye <laughs> Okay to meet me at the front line I've got cold feet, winter